Today we're going to talk about Rummus. Rummus is a game for older kids. You're talking about eight years old and up. And the idea behind it is that you use your stones to build up based on the pattern that is chosen. So to start the game, you have four different tiles that are available to you. Each one of these has a different pattern. This one is the stairs, and if you look at it, it's jagged. This one is the wall. You have a tower, and then you have a pyramid. Each player takes a colored piece, set of two pieces. There are 11 different shapes for each color. And then they start placing them on. Based on the type of tower that you're building, in this case we're building the pyramid, there is a limitation as to how high you can go. If you're playing with two players, for example, then the highest that you can go is going to be four stones high for uh, the pyramid. Each player takes turn, and the rule is, when you're starting out, is that the players, the pieces must touch one face to each other in the initial. Past that, the rule is that the pieces must touch at least one face of your color. In this case, the blue is touching one face here and here, which is good, and it's touching yellow, which is okay, it doesn't matter. This yellow player could not put a piece over here because it is not touching a yellow piece. They need to pick a piece that now touches one face of theirs. Play keeps going around where each player is attempting to build on before and we keep going until, remember for this one I said there's four, so that means you can't go any higher than four up. When no one else can play, then the round ends. The way you score it is that you look down at the piece from above and the number of faces that are visible from above is what is scored. So in this case, if I put it back together for you, you can see that yellow has more faces that are visible. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blue only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So blue has seven as well on this one. So they tied. But if you look down from the top, the number of faces that you can see is what determines the winner. Refer to the instructions that come with the game for all of the other details and variations of this game. Thank you.